Hello guys, Adam here from Not Toys Action Figures bringing you another Power Rangers Lightning Collection unboxing. As you can see here, we do have the boys in blue. We have Zeo Blue Ranger here on the left and Dino Thunder Blue Ranger here on my right. And on the sides, of course, flanking them are our Zeo Green Ranger and Mighty Morphin White Ranger. Yeah, two blue boys this time. Um, I really wanted to get another Zeo figure after, um, after the Green Ranger because I love the Green Ranger so much and uh, these figures are awesome. Um, but yeah, I think actually in this video, we're going to be unboxing the Dino Thunder Blue Ranger. Um, because yeah, I've, 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 this isn't a season I ever watched. Uh, this was kind of like after my time, but um, I think this is a really cool looking figure. And you can see he comes with so many accessories. Even up here, there is the, the shield, which you'll, you can see on the back. Um, yeah, so he comes with a lot of stuff. I think he's a really cool looking figure. And um, yeah, I was doing a bit of Googling. I didn't notice all this was on the back. That's annoying. Uh, a bit of googling and that this you know this series was kind of a homage to the original mighty morphin series and you can kind of tell because of his you know triceratops helmet it's a blue ranger and the guy ethan is kind of like the the nerd of the group a bit like billy was so yeah i think we'll open him up get him out and uh, have a look at him So here he is, we finally got him in a pose and it actually took quite a long time. Uh, as you can see, he comes with this, this huge shield and uh, it's quite heavy. And I think that's why it was kind of throwing him off, why I couldn't get him to stand up. Uh, we've gone for the typical back of the box pose. Hang on, I'll just show you the back of the box. Just have to put it back together because I opened it. Uh, come on. Yeah, so here's the back of the box pose. Oh, you can't really see it now on the camera if I lift it up. But um, yeah, it's a really, really good looking figure. Um, and if you hear some crunching, that's my dog eating in the background. <laughs> um, but yeah, it has this really cool, cool, cool look to him. Um, the shield, like I said, very, very detailed. And it even has this gold kind of thing that pops out at the bottom here, like this gold spike um, that comes out. And it's kind of interesting how it's attached to his arm because you actually have to take the the hand off to get it to work because I think his hands like he has extra hands with him of course but I think it's a little bit you can't get the shield on so you do have to take the, the hands off but you know as long as you have him in a pose where you can't see his hand that doesn't really matter um, the sword as well very cool has this lightning bolt on the end which is always a nice touch with the the, the lightning collection figures um, they always look really cool and I love these these diamonds down the sides again big throwback to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and the pistol is also quite similar um, but yeah he's a good looking figure and I guess um, yeah maybe we'll, let's go through his articulation so uh, take off these uh, we'll put his fist hand back on sorry about my noisy dog she's a very noisy eater and decided you know she has to do it right now when I want to record a video so let's have a look at him. Um, yeah, so like I said, the Blue Ranger, um, this season was kind of a throwback season to the Mighty Morphin, the original season. So um, it's cool that they've kind of done this with the helmet and made it kind of more stylized and more, more modern. It looks a little bit cleaner, like of course, I'm a Mighty Morphin fan. So um, my heart will always kind of lie with that, that old school look and the helmet mixed with the, the kind of eyes and the mouthpiece. But I like this, I like this style too. Uh, also, you know, I'm a big fan for gold and the gold accents that look really nice as well on this side I like here as well that they put this like little little detail on here, which is a, a Triceratops um, Which also just adds to it and I guess it, these kind of have some significance to the genre But uh, so to the series like I obviously don't know what it is because I've not watched the series, but maybe I should go back and watch them um, Yeah, and his articulation. So we have his head his head has a, a turn on it you can see there is a joint here, uh, so he can, uh, well, there is a joint, but he can't really look up or down, with, at least with his helmeted thing. He has a little bit of tilt on the sides, but yeah, not mostly it's just a swivel uh, with not much else. The arms, there's a, a butterfly, butterfly joint here that goes forward and backwards, and he's very, very <laughs> flexible. On his arms which is kind of nice so which i think means you can get him in some good poses especially with that shield if you can get him to balance because like i said the shield is really heavy and um, the arm goes up to about 90. Uh, it goes all the way around 360 which is nice the elbow is double jointed uh, and there's also swivel on the bicep double jointed goes 
pretty far up as always with these. The hands, um, yeah, full turn on them on this trigger finger hand, or I should say the holster, the holder hand, I guess. Um, and then on the other one as well, it also goes all the way around uh, and backwards and forwards, which is good. Uh, yeah, on his waist, or I guess his, his, what is this called, abdomen, he's on a ball so you can get him to go around. He does have some crunch to his waist going forward to here. You can look at his toes or going back. You could hear the crunch. Uh, it doesn't go that far back, but I mean, it's enough. Uh, the legs, the legs go up to there, which I'd say is about 90 degrees. They come back to here also with a double jointed knee, like we've seen pretty much with all the figures so far um, from the lightning connection. Uh, yeah, swivel on the thigh, which is nice. Uh, the boots also have a swivel on them at the calf and then the feet themselves they they go forwards they go backwards there is a a rocker on them and you can see it goes quite far around i think it's because it's so warm today that's kind of interesting to see i've never seen them go this far before hang on let me get a good focus on it yeah because it's so warm today i think that's why he feels so loose and it was kind of hard to get him to stand because his legs kept um kept basically just sliding out from him because i think he, he is so loose and because the shield is is so heavy um but yeah let's have a look at the shield obviously it's triceratops themed blue and gold to match the figure with these white highlights which is nice like i said in here this does go in so you can have it kind of in normal mode or if you want to have it as a, an attacking weapon you can put the spike out it goes back like this um, yeah, his hat arm, his forearm clips in here. You have to take the hand off um, because it won't go through this hole, I don't think. And if the hand it does go through, you probably always have to have this open. Um, but yeah, interesting to see a shield, um, especially one so unique as this. And uh, yeah, very look cool looking. Then we have his sword. So it has a little bit of a kind of bend to it. Like, a, uh, is it a scimitar, I think they're called? Um, yeah, not as much detail as uh, the, the Zeo Ranger sword that we saw, but there's still, you know, some blue with a red dot and this silver pommel. You can see here there's a bit of like, you know, it should have been sanded away a little bit, a bit of residue left over. And then we go on to a black handle. Again, there is this camera, you can't really see it. Oh yeah, there you can look. There's, a, there's some nice little detail on there, on the very end of the sword as well. You can see these kind of little curves. Um, so yeah, so it's all one color, but there's still some details in there, but I would maybe like to see some like, you know, like hand holds or some like binding to it. But then again, I, I don't necessarily know what the sword looks like in the, in the actual show, but yeah, a nice addition. Then we have his, his blaster again, blue. I like the kind of tri uh, triangles on it. Gives it that dinosaur look, um, which also the original, uh, from the original series they had. Again, not as detailed as the Zeo ones that we saw last time I made a Lightning Collection one, but that, that detail is still there on, on the pommel, which is nice. Um, and yeah, there's there's some detail, like it would have been nice to see it maybe painted different colors just to really show it off, but I think it's still a nice looking pistol. Then we have uh, his head, which is yeah really nice. And like I said, I don't really know the actor, but it does look like him, his likeness. Um, these, these heads are always really good especially sometimes when you compare them to the Black Series ones. And we will put some head, uh, the head on him later. Then we have two different hands, uh, which are more pistol tri or trigger finger hands. This one is he's kind of grabbing, which looks cool, like he's gonna do some kind of martial arts move. Um, but yeah, really cool looking figure. I'm gonna put him in some poses just to see what he can do. So here in pose one, we have him, like I said, with that kind of karate hand out, looking like he's about ready to block something, has a sword up above him. And yeah, I just I just love these these characters, these 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 figures from the Lightning Collection because they just all look so good so far. And they're just all really fun to just move around and play with and just, yeah, take photos of. Like they're really good looking characters, uh, really good looking figures, I should say, not characters. The only thing here is in this, this position, I couldn't get his pistol in his, in his holster because of his leg, which is uh, a little bit disappointing, but yeah, you know, whatever. Let's put him in another pose. So here's Ethan using his shield for protection as he fires off his, his blaster. I added the, the kind of spark thing effect from the green zero range to his, his 
it's blasted just to give it that little bit of extra touch of realism, I guess you could say. I think it looks cool. Might not be the, you know, series accurate. I don't know what color is blaster fired, but I think it looks cool, especially using it. It also gives me, reminds me a little bit of uh, is it Winter Soldier using Captain America's shield in one of the uh, Marvel movies. Um, but yeah, definitely cool, definitely a cool figure. And here he is. These are my most favorite poses to do with, with the Lightning Collection figures is have them with their helmets off because I just think it just looks so cool. There's just so much detail on the faces and so much detail on the helmets that I just think they're just, they're just really cool looking figures. Here he is, Ethan has just saved the day, took his helmet off to accept the applause of all of the people that he just saved. And yeah, I think we'll put him in, in one more pose um, and then we'll end the video. So here we go. And here is Ethan in his final pose with the pistol and the sword out. Really cool figure. I just notice his foot looks a bit funny though. It looks like he's kind of like on, on the wrong leg. <laughs> like it looks like this should be his, his foot from this leg. But when I look underneath at the sole, it's, it matches up correctly. But yeah, other than that, I think it's a really cool figure. Nice one to add to my collection, uh, get some Blue Rangers in. And um, yeah, we do have another Blue Ranger coming up in the next video. Uh, so yeah, you will be getting back-to-back -back Power Ranger videos on the channel. I hope you guys don't mind it um, because yeah, I, I'm kind of in a Power Ranger craze right now. But yeah, let me know what you thought of uh, of the uh, Dino Thunder Blue Ranger of Ethan. Uh, I think he's a really cool character. Um, really cool. I keep saying character, I mean figure. I think he's a really cool figure. He comes with loads of accessories. Um, and yeah, like all of the, the Lightning Collection, he's very, very posable, has lots of detail, and just is a fun character to have alongside my other Rangers. Hang on, let me bring in the other guys so we can start building building a team out. I mean, the, the Zeo Ranger still looks better though. Like the, It's just that gold, that gold inlay on him. Just looks so, so cool. Hang on, and let's get uh, the White Ranger in the background doing something, showing off his muscles. Here he is. So we're kind of building a mismatch team of like multiverse characters. But yeah, I mean, just look how cool they are. Like, I just can't wait to get all of the, like, to get one team all together and just have them all lined up. I think it's gonna look awesome. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you leave me a like. I think this one's probably been a bit longer than usual. Um, yeah. And if you are into Power Rangers or you know people that, are, that other people that are into Power Rangers, yeah, make sure you share the video with them. Maybe they'll enjoy watch, watching it and seeing it. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed and <laughs> see you in the next one. Bye-bye.